Okay, so in this video, we are we will be focusing on one of the four operations on functions, and that is on division. So I'll show you the basic idea, and then we'll look into two examples in which you could further simplify the expression to get the final answer. Okay, so let's say we have the following functions. f of x is given as 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 3 and then the g of x is equal to 8x to the 4 minus 6x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 and let's say they ask you to find the value of or the expression for f over g of x as we know from the symbol this means f of x over g of x and that is simply the 2x cubed on top minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 3 and below is the expression for the g which is 8x to the 4 minus 6x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. So as you can see, there is nothing much that we can do in simplifying the expression unless we really put some effort to factor these two group of expressions. And that we know that that will take us some time. So this is no, it is no longer practical to really simplify the expression in, in, in terms of like an exam or a, a test we could leave the answer in this form okay so that's for the basic idea of division we simply uh, supply the expression for say if we have f of x in the numerator then we get its expression we place it here and then for the second the g of x being the denominator we copy this expression and place it in the denominator okay so let's talk about the expressions in which we can simplify let's change the example into say suppose we have a two different um, we have a different set of functions now f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus say 3 and then g of x is equal to let's say x squared plus plus 4x or say plus 5x and then let's say minus 6 okay and if they ask you to find f over g of x then that would mean again f of x over g of x and that's equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 over x squared plus 5x minus 6 and as we can see there, is, there are things that we can do to simplify the expression so for quadratic expressions we could break them into binomial factors and we have x and x and 3 and 1 so make sure you review how to factor expressions you should have x minus 3 and x minus 1. For x squared plus 5x minus 6, again, you can have an x and an x. For the 6 to create a 5, you can have a 6, retain the 6. And then you can have the 1. A positive 6 and a negative 1 will give you the 5x. Okay, and then, just have to look at expressions that could be cancelled. So x minus 1 will be cancelled with x minus 1 that means the simplest form is x minus 3 over x plus 6 and that should be the simplest form of f of x over g of x okay so now suppose you have f of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 8 and g of x is equal to x plus 3 so if we look for f of x so they say f of x or f over g of x which means f of x over g of x 
then all we have to do is to place the f of x expression 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 8 and then in the denominator we have g of x which is equal to x plus 3 so we need to consider whether we can simplify the resulting expression and as we can see it seems like we could divide the 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 8 by x plus 3 if the question is only asking you to show the quotient f over g then the problem is already done but if they ask you to simplify it one way to simplify this is by doing or by dividing the numerator by the denominator okay so we will be performing the long division first and then I'll show you how to simplify the division by using synthetic division so when using the long division what we have to do is to place the 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x minus 8 under this sign which is what we use when we divide and then the divisor x plus 3 will be placed outside the process is just like working with numbers um, dividing by numbers or dividing of numbers so we will be looking for a term that if we multiply it to x it should be equal to 3x cubed and that term or that expression that we need is a 3x square so when we multiply so with that 3x squared we multiply that to our divisor so 3x squared times x is 3x cubed and then we also multiply 3x squared to 3 and that will give us 9 or positive 9x squared and like numbers after we multiply that term to the x plus 3 <coughs> what we need to do next is to subtract the expression so 3x cubed and 3x cubed will cancel but negative 2 minus 9x squared or negative 2x squared minus 9x squared will be negative 11x squared and then you have to bring down the 5x and also the minus 8 then you have to repeat the process so this time you have to think of what to multiply to x to get the negative 11x squared and that means you need negative 11x so again do the process so negative 11x times x will be negative 11x squared negative 11x times 3 will be negative 33x then you continue so subtract the expressions so this will cancel negative 11x squared and negative 11x squared but 5 minus 33 will become positive 38 so this is 38 x and then you have to bring down again minus 8 and again do the same process this time we focus on 38 so how do we get 38 x from 8 x we have to multiply by 38 so that means we have plus 38 38 times x is 38 x use white 38 x and then so this is 38 and then 38 times 3 is equal to so that will be a 3 and 8 is 24 and 2 so that's 114 positive and then minus finally we subtract so this will eliminate 38x and as you can see every time we do that we get to eliminate the first term because they are always the same because that was our goal to make them the same so negative 8 and minus 114 that will be negative 122 so that's our remainder 
So the expression that we have earlier is actually equivalent to the quotient 3x squared minus 11x plus 38 and with the remainder we have to write that as plus negative 122 over the divisor x plus 3. That's how we write the remainder all the time with the divisor. Okay. So the plus and minus sign, by the way, you can make that as a single minus sign. So we can also write this as 3x squared minus 11x plus 38 minus 122 over x plus 3. And that's our final answer. Okay. Now, as you can see, long division is not commonly preferred because there are many areas in which you can commit mistakes. So that is why they introduce uh, a simpler way of dividing polynomials, uh, what we call the synthetic division. Okay, so in this video, we will be, in the next few minutes of this video, we'll be, I'll be showing you how to use synthetic division. Okay, so in synthetic division, So we focus on our expression, the one that we have to divide. So this is what we have. What we do is we copy all the coefficients of our polynomial expression. So that means we have we have a 3, we have negative 2, we have 5, and then negative 8. Now, sometimes there are expressions that are missing. For instance, instead of 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x, the negative 2x squared is missing. So that means we have to use 0 in place of that number. Okay? But if you have complete uh, expressions from cube to square to x to a single or to the constant, then all you have to do is to copy the numbers or the coefficients. Now, to use the x plus 3, we will be placing the number negative 3. That negative 3 is actually the number when x plus 3, the divisor, is equal to 0. So this is x equals negative 3. Some people will just simply think we just place the opposite of the plus 3, and that means it's negative 3. So now, this is how you perform the synthetic division. First, drop the first number 3 then you multiply that to negative 3 it will give you negative 9 afterwards you add down the negative 2 and 9 that's negative 11 and then you repeat the process again multiply to negative 3 that will give you positive 33 and then you add again so this will be 38. Then you multiply to negative 3. That will give you negative 114. And that's adding them will give you negative 122. So how do we write the answer? Our numbers started with x cubed and then x squared and then x and the constant negative 8. The answer is always 1 degree less than the leading term of our expression. So from x cubed, the 3 becomes <clears throat> 3x squared. 11 is now 11x. 38 is the constant. And this is our remainder, minus 122 over the divisor x plus 3. And as you can see, it's the same expression that we had um, earlier the one that we got from the long division. Okay, so synthetic division is a good way or a faster way of finding a quotient. Okay, just make sure that you follow the steps properly. Like we, we multiply and then we add and then we just, you know, do that process repeatedly until we get the remainder. If just in case the value here is zero, then there's no remainder. So there's no need to write any additional expression in the end okay 
So that's for the operations and functions involving divisions.